Okay, in this video we're going to look at the fundamental principles of counting, which is basically how many different ways you can rearrange items. Right? Before I do that though, I'm just going to look at list and outcomes. Right. So we have a menu here, and the question is how many different three course meals can be had from this menu? Well, I could have soup, beef and um, sorry, not soup, beef and chicken, soup, beef, soup, beef and ice cream. I could have soup, beef and pie. I could also have soup, chicken and ice cream, or soup, chicken and pie. I could have volivant beef and ice cream, volivant beef pie, or volivant chicken ice cream, volivant chicken pie. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different um, meals I can have from, eight different three course meals I can have from this menu. Okay, so that's how I'd list items. However, if I was just asked how many different um, course meals I could have in this menu, the simplest way to do it would be I could have two starters, two main courses, two desserts, and if I multiply the three numbers together, I would get eight, eight which is the same as this. All right. Let's go on to our dog race. So we have six dogs in a race, and we're asked how many different ways can these dogs finish in the race. So this dog could come first, this could come second, this could come third, this guy fourth, this guy fifth, this guy sixth. So that's one way they could finish. They could also finish first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. There's another way. So there's two ways they could finish. There's a lot of different ways these dogs could finish though. So how do I find out how many different ways altogether they can finish? Well, we're looking at how many different ways all the dogs can finish. So we're looking at six places, first, second, third, fourth fifth and sixth. So I start out by drawing six boxes. Now here's the first box. Okay. So we're looking at how many different dogs can finish in first place. Well there's six dogs, so there's six dogs can finish in first place. Now let's pretend this dog finished first. Now how many choices have I for dogs to finish second place? Remember one of them is already after finishing first. So that means I have five dogs left that can finish second. Let's say he finishes second. Now I have four dogs who can finish third, let's say it's him. I have three dogs who can finish fourth, let's say it's him. I have two dogs who can finish second last, which let's say it's him. And then I have one dog, which is him, who can finish last. Right? And all I do then is multiply the six numbers. Right? And that is 720. So 720 ways those dogs can finish. All right? Um, Let's say if I was asked how many different ways those dogs can finish in first, second, and third place. Well, first, second, and third place means I'm only looking at three places. Again, okay, six dogs can finish first, five, and four. Okay, so that's 120 different ways. Now let's put in some stipulations. Right? Stipulations are like rules. So we still have our six boxes, right? So six different ways. But let's say this dog is after going on steroids. It is really muscly. So he is definitely finishing first. Let's say this dog, well he ain't going too well at all. He's really, really weak. So he's definitely finishing last. Definitely finishing first, definitely finishing last. Okay. So now how many options have I of dogs to finish first? Well we know who's going to finish first. It's this guy. And we know this guy is going to finish last, so we put in this guy. Okay? So we always start with what we know. Now, how many dogs have we left? We have four. So that means we have four dogs who could finish second. Three, two, and one. Yeah, and we multiply. And that's four by three, which is twelve, twenty-four. Okay. Right, let's keep going. One more. Right, this time, this guy is still finishing last. This guy is still on the steroids, but now this guy is after getting really strong as well. So he could finish first or second. And this guy could finish first or second. So we're not quite sure. Let's start with what we do know, though. This guy is finishing last. Now, one of these two guys is going to finish first. So how many options have I of finished of uh, 
the dog finish in first. Well, I, I have two now. So let's say he finishes first. Now, how many options have I of finishing second? Well, remember, we said these two dogs, one of them's going to finish first and the other's going to finish second. So if one of them finishes first, the other has to finish second. So one. So now after dealing with this dog, this dog, and this dog. So how many options have I now in third place? It's three. Let's say it's this dog finishes third, second, or sorry, two, and one. And we'll multiply. Okay, and we have two multiplied by one is two, three, four, five, five, so that is 12. Okay. Great. Last question. Um, I'm going to ask you how many different ways can I rearrange the letters feathered if no letter can be repeated? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 letters in feathered, so 7 boxes. Okay. No letter can be repeated. So how many choices have I for the first letter? Well, I could pick F-E-T-H-A-R-D. So seven choices for the first letter. Now, let's just say I put in E. Okay, and I can't repeat the letter. So now I have six choices for the next letter. And now let's say I put in the T. So now I have five and four and three and two and one. And I can't count. I drew eight boxes. It should be seven. Okay, and I'll multiply or seven boxes right so that's the amount of ways um, I won't calculate it okay you can do it yourselves um, that's how I, that's the amount of ways I can rearrange the letters feathered what if I said I am allowed to repeat the letters so what I mean by that is I could put F F F F F F F if I wanted or I could put an E and E here okay so I can reuse the letters if I want and that would mean I have seven choices for my first letter. And once I use that, let's say you used E, I can still use E again. So I have seven choices and seven and seven and seven and seven and seven. Okay. Uh, last word. Let's say I'm not allowed to repeat the letters. Okay, so I'm only allowed to use them once. And I have to start my arrangement with the letter F. So I have to begin with F and I have to end with D. Okay, but I can put uh, any of the other letters anywhere I want. But how many choices have I for the first letter? One, I have to use F. The last letter, I have to use D. So I have to use an F and use an D. So now I have one, two, three, four, five letters left. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay? Um, that is the fundamental principles of counting.